what is going on guys broken mark here and welcome back to the channel or welcome along if you're new here and today as you can see we are playing wwe 2k20 and this is the final part of episode 2 of buw and we are going to start off the next match very very strongly we've got four top superstars in a four-way elimination match who will leave victorious is going to be the big question with survive the night just around the corner every one of these men will want to make a statement is there any further delay let's do this if while we wait for the match to load if you're brand new, as I mentioned, welcome along. Please do make sure you do subscribe and turn on your notification bell. That way you'll always be notified of when I do a video or do a live stream. And if you could as well, please do drop that like. I really would appreciate it. And go over and check out my second channel that I do alongside my wife. Hi. Danny and Mike. You can hear a faint hi in the background. I'm not very well. <laughs> So, Danny is kind of here, guys. She might not be speaking a lot. Just a little, uh, just pre-warning. Oh. Obviously, as well, guys, please do make sure to check out parts one, two, and three before you drop by for the final part so here we go two more matches to go on the show guys so let's do this thing here comes a new look ace bomb Ace Bomb looks really scary here. I think he has indeed been recast as the Joker, guys. But he's here in the BUW ring. Very scary, dude. But we won't matter one jot. <laughs> That mask is enough to give anyone nightmares. And here comes from Louisiana, weighing in at 205 pounds, Hunter P. Here comes a former United States champion in Hunter Wrestling, who will be one of the captains in the upcoming pay-per-view, Survive the Night, BUW's Survivor Series based. Pay per view. The question is, who's Hunter going to pick for his teammates? Same goes for Ace Bomb, who is also going to be one of the team captains. I can't wait to see who he decides to pick. There's going to be a couple of type, those types of matchups, guys. That will be absolutely amazing. I cannot wait for it. There'll be at least three Survivor Series type matchups. I'll we'll wait and see what happens. Let's just concentrate on the now. As we await the arrival of Nick Gaming and look at him right there. Looks incredible. Looks incredible with shape. Does our Nick Gaming. New York weighing in at 209 pounds. Nick! Fatal four-way action coming up in Byron. So Nick Gaiman, who just fell short of becoming Intercontinental Champion in a recent show, we all know that he is going to be a future champion, that is for sure. 
I believe in Nick Gaming. I believe in all my roster. In your face action, it uh, every single. Oh, I love that. Like I love that little part a bit at the end. Of course, that includes my wife. Oh, that is amazing. Look at those fireworks. Absolutely top stuff. So Nick Gaming's ready to rock and roll. And we just await one more superstar. We await the arrival of a two-time tag team champion in BW. Oh, look at that pyro work. Love it. A creator of Soda Streams. The man himself, Soda Pop Noob, is looking ready to go tonight. And he's also going to be one of the team captains that survived the night. And from Minnesota, weighing in at 215 pounds. Given the participants, this and Soda very well. looks ready to go, yeah, looks focused, he's so been on the roll as of late, candidate. defeated me in a one-on-one -on -one match just a couple of weeks ago, gotta give credit where it's due, this man is going places, the question is, Will he be able to win here tonight and send a message to everyone that's going to be a part of Survive the Night? Byron, would you agree that he's about as conceited as a guy as we've seen in a long time? I would absolutely agree with you, Michael. But he's also one of the most talented. I think that gets lost sometimes <coughs> in the enormity that is his ego. So here we go, ladies and gents. These four men willing to put it all on the line in a fatal four-way elimination match. The four men in the ring are and here we go, the match is underway. We got Soda and Hunter. And we got Nick with Ace Bomb in a submission very early on. That would not be a... So it would not be a very good start for Ace Bomb if he had tapped out this early. That's not the kind of message he wants to send to his teammates, whoever he decides to pick. So right now, Soda and Hunter on the outside, killing it already. And now we've got Ace Bomb and Nick Gaming in the middle of the ring. Ace Bomb. Going to Suplex City. And, to and the release. Connected on that. Hunter now. On the offense. Ooh, as is Ace Bomb. Great reversal. I gotta say, I'm impressed. Yet another counter. It's like they're both some of the What's What's Nick Gaming thinking here? Oh! What a moonsault! Springboarding. Landing on his feet. After Ace Bomb moves out of the way. And then hits it. On the rebound. Ace and, uh, and Nick Gaming in the middle of the ring. We've got Soda and Hunter on the outside. Hunter in trouble on the outside. Look at this. Oh! Nick Gaming looked like he hit the version of the Canadian Destroyer. Nick Gaming drives Ace Bomb to the mat. Soda and 
Hearns are still fine on the outside. And Nick Gaming hits a 6-1-9 to Ace Bomb. Ace Bomb sees the opportunity. He took his attention away from, from Nick Gaming from just a split second and it could cost him dearly. Nick, look at him go, man. Absolutely tearing it up. Ace could be in trouble. Could be the first one eliminated. Just a one count only. Soda and Hunter back in the ring. And a running knee, I don't think he caught all, all, all of that one. But he sent Ace Bomb to the outside. Oh. Nick Gaming. Targeting Hunter now. No eliminations as of yet. And... What, Dragon Slayer into the... Sleeper hold, but that was stopped. He's to bring this one to the outside where things can get ugly in an instant. In a bad way here, guys. Going for the home run. Soda and Hunter in the corner. Up against the barrier now. I think that barrier might be the only thing holding him up. Nick came in and Ace Bomb take their fight to the outside. Soda with the super kick. It could be over for Hunter Wrestling. And it is. Hunter's gone. We're down the three. Hunter's got to regroup. He's got to get his team together ready for Survive the Night. The question is, who is he going to pick for his partners? Now oh, Ace gets, it, uh, gets out of dodge there. Not again. One of these competitors is eventually going to have to gain the upper hand. Soda now. Bringing the pain to Ace Bomb. Rolls through. The strength. Oh, Nick Daniel with the stunner. Nick hits a stunner on Soda and hits a running knee to the face. I think it was just a normal knee in the face. I do apologise. And that could be it for Soda. Ace Bomb back inside. There's the pin. Can his opponent kick? No, he lets it out. Curious decision there, Michael. Nick and Ace Bomb seem to be teaming up for the time being on Soda. Going into aggression, just pure brutality. Oh, easy. And you know what's next? Soda with the Soda Pop Stunner. Soda with Ace Bomb in the corner. A swift kick to the back and takes Ace Bomb out the equation for the time being. And a double knees to Soda. Nick Gaming could be on the verge of eliminating Soda. Oh, nobody home. He met nothing but knees. Nick sees it coming. Nick Gaming. 
Go for the elimination. No! Soda kicks out after two. Good night, nurse. Soda could be done. Could be done, Ski. Ace Bomb trying to steal it. And Soda again kicks out. How those shades staying on Nick's face. Never, never know. Nice snap mid takedown and kick to the spine. Soda again with the retaliation. And that's it, surely. That's twice. Ace. Interfering, but it's not going to do him any favours. Soda kicks out once again. Oh! Do not trust Ace Bomb. Nick hits, gets hit with a backstabber. Oh no, this isn't good. Will Nick game in submit? He doesn't. Soda! Soda pops stun at the Ace Bomb. And Ace Bomb is eliminated. We're down to two. We're down to Nick Gaming and the Soda. Soda feeling it right now, ladies and gentlemen. Nick Soda with two eliminations so far. Just needs one more to win this matchup. Unless Nick Gaming has anything to say about it. Tell me I didn't just see that. Tell me I didn't just see Soda flip off the crowd. Good grief. It's supposed to be a family show. But screw family, I suppose. And Nick Gaming with the response hits a clothesline. And Soda about to pay for it. There you go, it could be over. Oh, near fall. So close for Nick Gaming to pick up a huge win. And a Dragon Slayer in, in the... This is a unique submission. Looks like a Dragon Sleeper. Soda surviving. How lucky was Soda there? In Palo DDT. And Soda is your winner. What a match though. What a match. Soda clean house. But what a match it was. Absolutely phenomenal fatal four way. Here is your winner, Shabonich. And so does on a roll right now. There's your winner, folks. This win is exactly why so many superstars hope their number never gets called. Will his team be ready? Well, that'll do it here. That survived the night. Fatal four way match. He certainly is ready, but like I said, his team's got to be ready for anything that. that the opposition throws at them. So congratulations once again to Soda on a huge victory there. And now it is time, ladies and gents. It is our main event of the evening. And this could have serious ramifications going into Survive the Night. Everything can change in the space of one match. And we've got a women's title matchup 
we've got Chloe, who is one of the number one contenders. And we've also got two time six shooter champion in Meow Jid. And last but not least, their opponent, the new six shooter champion, is Danny. She's blaming me if if she loses this yeah, one. So who will leave this main event as the champion? Chloe. Danny doesn't have any faith in herself. No, I don't because this is my first defence and I normally lose on my first defence. So you're saying you're a Sasha Banks? Yeah, pretty much. Saying she's the Sasha Banks of BUW. I'll give you that. <laughs> Mind you, I've got to be careful what I say. Why? Because you're my wife. Yeah. And if I say the wrong thing, oh, I could get into trouble. Two words, Becky Lynch. Enough said. <laughs> so who is going to leave? this match with the championship and heading into the pay-per-view in the all champions clash well, hopefully me but you know i'm hoping for you as well no disrespect to the other girls we love you this is Amy's wife mm, exactly so here comes the first challenger here comes chloe Earned this opportunity just a couple of weeks ago. Introducing the challenger from London, England, C. C. Crystal. Here we go, Here comes Chloe. Title match coming up. We should be leaving as champion. That is the next question. None better in all of WWE right now. Let's say she could add another C to her name. She could add very well add champion to that. Guys, this is without a doubt a potentially career altering opportunity for her here tonight. And at the risk of being a glass half empty type of guy, it could also be a career deflating opportunity. She doesn't win the title tonight. There's no So Chloe looks him. ready to rock and roll. Looks ready to take her opportunity. And here comes a former two-time Six Shooter Champion looking for a third reign as champion here tonight in Meowjid. And the fans are booing her. I don't know why. And introducing the challenger from El Paso, Texas, Megan. It's a big time so here comes Meowjid, the, the former two-time champion. Love to get that championship back. And going to the All Champions Clash at Survive the Night. Can she do it? That's the question. I know I've said that a lot, but it's just it's just facts, guys. It's just facts. Corey, what must be going through the challenger's mind right now? Well, I hope she's not already thinking about how yeah, the side plates would look on the title. Looks a darn sight meaner than she ever has been she's before. Been done here tonight. As they await the arrival of the champion. And here comes the wife. Here comes me wife, guys. Here she is. And introducing the champion. From Newport, Wales. That is good, she is the WWE Divas Champion, the Queen Danielle. The so will Danny be still leaving this champion? That's, that is another question you got to ask yourself. The odds are, do not favour Danny in this one.
Obviously, you don't have to be made to be made to submit. Don't have to be pinned in order to lose the championships. Triple threat rules. Anything goes. There, it's what it's all about right here. And it's a lovely color as well. And that's what it's all about. The championship is on the line. It's going to be an amazing triple threat match. And away we go. Meow did. With a nice whirly bird there. Meow did with it taking the early control. And I am excited to call it again right here tonight. Of Chloe. On the comeback. Nice bulldog there. And this is Chloe's first title match. Facing off against two who fought for the championship for months. Nice. Oh, Chloe, nice reversal there. Gets out of trouble. Gets out of the suplex predicament. And a stiff right hand from Chloe to the former champion. Takes her out of the equation for the time being, does Miaojid. It's down to Miaojid and Danny at the moment. What's Miaojid got in mind here? That's got to hurt. Now, trampling the opposition. She's in full control now. Meow Jid taking control, which she was for the time being. But now it's turned in Chloe's favour and a nice Falcon Arrow. It's down to Chloe and Danny right now. And a nice right hand. Down goes the champion. Of course, Danny won the title in a cage match. Has defied all the odds before. And she could very well do it again. Chloe pandering to the crowd saying, look what I'm doing to Danny. And Chloe has me outed up. Nice move there. Danny. I've got the submission. Is that a tap? No, it isn't. Oh, that could have been an early, early night for Danny if she if she made Chloe tap. Of course, the strategy in these sorts of matchups, you know, take the advantage early and go home. Just get out of there as soon as you can. Win the match as early as possible, but it's possible. Cover, and Chloe stops the pin. And he's down and out for the moment. Oh, there goes Chloe hanging on the ring apron. Danny with a right hand. Danny's got me outed in the submission. Will Miaojid tap out here? No, she doesn't. Chloe saves the matchup. Over, over goes Chloe. And that is not very nice. Not, not very ladylike. My wife there. Danny's got Chloe up. Hung out to dry. Danny going to the top rope. Oh, Meowjid stops Danny in her tracks. And an arm drag off the second rope. We're down to a one on one situation once again. Will either Chloe or Meowjid be able to capitalize on Danny's absence? Exiting the ring. Very interesting game. 
Miagid caught Clay right at the back of the head, I believe. Chloe getting thrown across the back ringside area. Not what she was looking for. Danny back inside the ring. Oh, again. Head crank. Danny's back on the offense on the outside. Can't win the championship out there or retain it out there that's Danny's got to at least pin one of them I'm just doing my job Danny oh the dude buster that could that could have been it if it was inside the ring but all three of these ladies are fun on the outside Danny gets thrown into the stairs. Miaujid wants her title back. And she's back in the ring now. Remember, there are no count outs in this in this matchup. Triple threat rules. No disqualifications. No count outs. <laughs> Turn out the lights. And down it goes Danny again. Miaujid. Hasn't forgotten what Danny done. Well, what she can do and find out the day she win the championship. That's pretty much the general consensus. <laughs> Miaujid with Chloe in the middle of that ring. Danny is immobilized for the time being. Will one of these girls be able to seize the moment? Or will Danny somehow sneak another one? And Chloe, choke slam backbreaker. Could be a new champion. Chloe could be closing in on the title and a near fall. Meowjid kicking out. Just in the nick of time. Danny though. Knee to the face. Sends Chloe packing. We're down to one-on-one -on -one again. Meowjid and Danny in the ring. Can Danny capitalize? on the one-on-one -on -one situation. And here we go. What's, what's Danny got in mind here? Women's right. It's over. It's over. Danny retains a title. She has done it, ladies and gentlemen. She escapes. You pinned me, Algid. Ah. So that's. Hi, I love you. Can you? Can we forgive Danny on that one, Algid? Yes. I'm sure we can. It's a bit of fun end of the day. But congratulations to Danny. This is how she won it. Boom! Right hand. So, Danny, the Queen is still on top of the women's division. And she will be heading to survive the night as champion and compete in the All Champions Clash. If any of you ever call me Danielle, you're in trouble. I hate that name. Of course, Danielle. So, I'll bat you later. <laughs> anyway, that's that was that's our show, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you all enjoyed it. So we've seen some amazing matches. Please do let me know what you thought was your favourite. I really would love to hear from you guys. Was it this match? Was it the previous match? It's up to you. You can tell me. You can let me know in the comment section. And. So yeah, we've got one more show to go before the pay-per-view, guys. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel. So stay notified of when that happens. It'll be another recording like this. So the but the pay-per-view will be live. So just a heads up for you guys. 
So thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like, share, comment and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. I've been your host for this one, Broken Mike. And thank you to Danny in the background. I know she did make some kind of noise. And we will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, guys.